We are staying on top of breaking news tonight. The Vigo County School Corporation is changing back to school plans. Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. On News 10 First at 5, we explained Vigo County school leaders have made changes to the fall semester for in person classes. News 10's Richard Solomon was at that meeting. He joins us now live at the Vigo County School Corporation. Richard explains what those changes are and how this is going to impact families. Students who attend in person classes this fall will be broken up within two groups. That's an A or B cohort. And they'll have to go to actual school inside the buildings every other single day. Now, here's a closer look at that model and how things will work. Students with the last names that start with A through K will be placed in the A cohort. And those with last names ending in L through Z and B. Now, these groups will alternate every other day. Students will do remote learning on their day away from school. School leaders say deep cleaning will be done after every single school day. They understand this may be a challenge for some parents, but leaders say this is the best option to make sure students are safe and continue to get their education. We need to reduce the number of students in our building at one time to allow for smaller classes and more distance. I, like you, worry how long we can remain face to face. This allows, I think, takes away some of their concerns or eases some of their concerns and still gives us an opportunity to see our students in school. School leaders say this model will be in place until September 4th, and the next model will be presented later on this month. Reporting in downtown Terre Haute, Richard Solomon, News 10, Rondrell.